Alrighty guys, today for this week's product review, we have something new. Something kind of outside the box or more like inside the box called the refrigerator. This is a food that we've reviewed before, it's called Fresh Pet, and they came out with a new kind of like homemade remedy or homemade whatever. So let's go ahead and dive into what this stuff really is. I don't know, let's find out. Let's go over to the refrigerator and I'll see you guys afterwards. Alrighty, so here's what we looked like inside the box. We have four patties, which you see here, they're actual chicken patties. And we'll crack this open and put it in the bowl. And then they come with three different options. So here's one of the options. This happens to be the cranberry, carrots, and green bean formula. So that's one of them. Then we have banana, cranberries, and blueberry formula. Then we have the brown rice, pumpkin, carrots and green beans formula. Alrighty, so all pretty good. You know, these are all veggies, fiber rich, and this one happens to have the grains where the other ones are considered a grain free, antioxidant free, um, antioxidant rich, berries free, or berries. Wow, I can't talk today. So um, basically the portioning they say is your protein, your mixer makes a complete meal. That's kind of what they're implying. So let's take a look. This is happens to be made by the way in the United States and it's made with 100% pure chicken. That's what that's supposed to be. All right. On the back, they do have the feeding recommendations. So my recommendation for this is that you actually feed this to a smaller breed dog because the cost effectiveness would be tremendous if you did it for a larger breed, but you can do it as a treat or as a topper, what I think would work. Maybe for maybe, a, you know, take one or two of the patties, break them up and put it every day and keep it in the refrigerator. So for a five to 10 pound dog, they're saying one to one and a half patties. So that's, that's an awful lot. This, this happened to cost me $10. So, you know, cost effective. Yeah. You're looking kind of, kind of pricey there. So let's go ahead and crack open this wow that is some tough so this is the chicken breast and it looks like it's just chicken breast. If you look in there, that's that's actual chicken. Um, yeah, pretty good. All right, so you're supposed to mash this all up like such. And I'm assuming you can actually probably warm this up a little bit too. Um, this would be good if they made a cat formula, because I know cats are tend to prone to have urinary tracts, and this is a lot of moisture in it. So maybe if Fresh Pet's watching, they can come out with a cat recipe. If they haven't already, I I'm not aware of one. So you break this all up. All right. Then we're gonna go, we're gonna go with the, uh, no, we'll go with this one. This one is the cranberries, carrots, and green pea formula. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna go with that one. If we can get in focus, there we go. Wow, oh, these are, on there there's no like little tab to pull oh, i guess that would be it yeah i kind of just like to get dirty so 
So that's the whole cup. Pretty much. So, to be honest, that seems like an awful lot for a five-pound dog to eat. Um, so, you know, it actually is a pretty good portion. Let's go ahead, pop this in the microwave, and see how it smells after we warm it up. Alrighty, so put it in the microwave, warmed it up. It actually has a really good smell to it. Um, this is actual chicken. I mean, it's, it's no different than what I would get... You know, if I went to Costco and got frozen chicken breasts. Um, but these are actually refrigerated, so these seem pretty good. So let's go back to FaceTime and see what we think. Alrighty, see you guys over there. Deuces! Alrighty, so that seemed pretty cool. Um, totally out of focus, there we go. So that seemed pretty cool. It's, you know, it's real chicken, real beans real cranberries you know i got it right here you guys know what's about to happen yes i am about to eat dog food i don't even consider this dog food though the green beans here let me try a green bean that's a green bean carrots are carrots yeah you know it's it's the chicken's very bland of course they don't put a lot of seasoning on it straight up chicken you know I bet Murphy's gonna love this. But it's very good. You know, so tons of moisture in the bottom there. So I mean that's that's from the natural green beans. But I'm super impressed. But the one thing I do want to state though, I would definitely not recommend this to anyone that has a larger breed dog and this was their main diet. It's not something that would be cost effective. Um, if they made these in a larger portioning, then maybe, but for right now, they don't. So anyone with a 20 pound dog or more, I probably wouldn't recommend this to be part of their diet. Um, anything under 20 pounds, this would be a great topper between 20 and 10 pounds. And then anything under, you can probably do this with some supplements. Um, definitely need to add some supplements. You know, they need some omega threes, some of those things that they need in their diet. But you know, this is a fantastic topper for any dog food. Um, you can save a little bit, you can make portions out throughout the week and then just put put a microwave, put it on top of their food. Um, you're talking, you know, $10 for the pack of four and then $1.99 for the little cups. So it's really not that bad when you look at the bigger picture. If you tend to get a premium dog food, so you're talking about $30 to $40 a bag a month, and then you add this on top of that, you're talking probably about you know, an additional 10 to $15 a month on your dog food, which really isn't that bad when it comes down to the daily percentage per day. So, you know, definitely take a look at this. I know this is carried at most Petco's. It's where I picked it up. Um, I don't know if every Petco has this, but you can check your local Petco and see. So this is the uh, Home Style Creations by Fresh Pet. All right, kind of changing up a little bit. Alrighty guys, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, please leave them below. And um, last time I ate dog food, people made a lot, had a lot of comments about me. I shouldn't eat raw food. Well, this isn't raw, so yeah, it's actually cooked. It's pretty cool. Alrighty, guys, I'll see you all next time. Everyone have a great weekend, and uh, yeah, have a good one. Peace.